Hi guys, Black Box here. In this video I'll show you how to fly a visual approach. Now, once you understand the basic concept of the visual approach and uh, have practiced that yourself, you'll find out that uh, these approaches are a lot of fun. Here you see in a basic illustration of how a visual approach is flown in the Airbus A320. You can uh, download this chart uh, from my Dropbox account. The link is in the description below. As you can see, there are some key points that you have to look out for when doing a visual approach. The first one is the pattern altitude should be 1500 feet above the threshold elevation. The second important factor is the distance from the center line should be around two and a half miles. Now in the A320, you can uh, use the navigation display to help you achieve those two and a half mile offset. All you have to do is select the nav rose mode and then the smallest range of 10 miles. The inner circle, the dashed inner circle, has a radius of two and a half miles. So when the center line of the landing runway goes right through that uh, dashed circle, you know that you have the perfect offset for the approach. Before reaching the downwind leg, you have to activate the approach phase, then set the speed to managed, switch off the flight directors and select track FPA on the FCU. Also, you should be in configuration flaps one and let the speed drop down to S speed. Right, here we are established on the downwind runway 22 at Stansted Airport. The offset is uh, pretty much two and a half miles and we're just about to approach the beam threshold position. At the beam position we start the stopwatch. After about 15 seconds of outbound time you select flaps 2 in order to be at the flaps 2 configuration before turning base. Now the outbound timing goes as follows. For each 100 feet above threshold elevation you multiply by 3 seconds. Now should you have tailwind you subtract one second per knot of tailwind component. So for example, if you have five knots tailwind component, you would fly an outbound time of 40 seconds. Now, in uh, this example, we are lucky. We have uh, no tailwind component, and so we fly 45 seconds outbound. Turning base, we select gear down. And after the landing gear is down, we select flaps three. Now the airspeed is slowly decreasing and we are also starting a three degree glide descent. That's why it's a good idea to use the flight path vector because uh, we can set the three degree glide very easily that way. The next step will be to select flaps four and also to look for the puppies at the runway. Now that the aircraft is fully configured we can uh, solely concentrate on uh, getting into the right position for the final approach. For the turn onto final, make sure that you don't overshoot the center line. The earlier you are correctly established on the final track and on the final glide path, the smoother the whole approach will be. Now you have to be completely established at the latest 500 feet above threshold elevation. If you cannot meet that target, you have to go around.
Alright, time to read the landing checklist. We have a calm, 500. no blue. Smooth touchdown, and that completes the video of the uh, visual approach in the Airbus A320. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any further questions, post your comments down below. Now it's up to you to practice that pattern. I do wish you a lot of fun with that, and I wish you happy landings.